Imagine driving in your car and Nancy Pelosi is in the back seat and she's nitpicking about every little thing that you're doing, okay? And all of a sudden, a deer runs out in front of you and you swerve to miss the deer. And Nancy says, Oh, this is unsafe driving. I'm shutting off your car. Give me your keys. And she takes your keys and just leaves you stranded at the side of the road. Buried deep in this trillion dollar infrastructure bill that was just passed last fall by Congress is a mandate to make sure that by the year 2026, every new car sold in the United States must have a kill switch that will be monitored by the government to shut you down if they think you're driving is unsafe. That's right, folks. And this kill switch must, and I quote, passively monitor the performance of a driver of a motor vehicle to accurately identify whether that driver may be impaired. Now, let me tell you this, impaired is not defined by this legislation. So what does that mean? So you could be driving down the road and a bee flies in and you're swerving, trying to swat this bee you're not impaired. You're trying to get the damn bee out of your face while you're driving on the road. Remember the scene from Tommy Boy? And uh, some computer algorithm backed by Nancy Pelosi and whoever else in Washington decides that you're unsafe. And so they shut down your car, leave you stranded. What if your wife is in labor and you're racing to get to the hospital and you're driving a little too fast? You're, you're taking turns a little faster than what the algorithm thinks is safe and so they shut you down and then you got to try to help your wife uh birth the baby there on the side of the road yeah thanks that's that's really what we need this could be incredibly dangerous now the law says that this kill switch has to passively be monitoring your driving so that means it's on all of the time it's collecting data all of the time and it's ready at any time to shut you down what country are we living in i don't recognize this place anymore now, it's not good enough that this thing can just shut your car down whenever it thinks that you're being impaired, okay? It also has a back door to let a third party get the data that has been collected by this thing. So what does that mean? Does that mean a uh, police officer might be able to uh, scan this thing and see if I was speeding or if I was being erratic? Do they need a warrant to do that? Will insurance companies get this information? Who, who else can get this? I don't know. I mean, maybe something much more nefarious than this. What about a hacker? Can he just get into your car and shut off whenever he wants to cause mayhem? Now remember, what constitutes a law-abiding citizen can drastically change overnight. One minute, you're a hero because you're fighting on the front lines against the pandemic. And the next, you're the enemy of the state because you're not taking their mandated vaccination. And I know what, what some people will say. Well, this is in the name of safety. This is going to save so many lives. So let's go with it. But how far do you go? How much liberty do you give up? If you're willing to give up liberty in the name of safety, you, you'll lose both. I certainly don't like drunk drivers, and my parents were almost killed by a drunk driver. So don't, don't tell me your story about uh, you know, how you lost a family member. I, I sympathize with you, and I think it's a horrible thing. But I'm not willing to give Uncle Sam the control over my whole vehicle and my, my whole life in the name of safety. How far is this going to go? I'm to the point where I just wish that they would just go ahead and pass the damn law that says my mommy just drives me around everywhere to make sure that everybody's safe. I'm not some giant conspiracy theorist, but I'll tell you right now, we do not need Big Brother, Nancy Pelosi, Uncle Sam, and the rest of them watching over our shoulder from the back seat telling us if we're being a good driver or not. If you want to put a cop out there with a radar gun and pull me over while I'm speeding, fine. If I'm being erratic and a cop sees me and he pulls me over and asks us if everything is okay, fine. But you cannot have some computer shut me down based on what Big Brother thinks is safe driving and think that that's fine. But guess what, folks? It's in the infrastructure bill and it's coming. So if you don't like it, you need to contact your representative and fight like hell to have this thing pulled out. I'm a safe driver. I'm a good law-abiding citizen. But you know what? Sometimes when I'm on the road by myself or I'm in my Corvette, it's beautiful and I can see the road ahead of me is clear. Yeah, I might break the law. But you know what? I don't put people in danger, okay? Do I want some kind of algorithm written by Nancy Pelosi or whoever else shutting me down because they think I'm unsafe? Is this the frickin' Soviet Union or is this the USA?
Now, like I said, I'm a good law-abiding citizen, but when I'm driving and I've got a cop driving behind me, I get a little tense. Imagine having a cop driving behind you everywhere you go all the time following you. But instead of just pulling you over to give a ticket, if you do something wrong, he might shoot up your engine so that you're stranded. That's kind of what we're talking about here. If you want to help spread this message, give the video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. What other crazy legislation is out there that I'm unaware of? I'm making this video to share with you what I think is crazy legislation. Share with me anything that I'm missing. What do you guys think? Am I too much of an alarmist? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks guys.